Welcome to the tutorial classes of the module 2. Under this module, we will be discussing uh, 3 to 4 subtopics. The first question is uh, definition of corrosion and electrochemical theory of corrosion. Uh, this once again a most probable question. Several times it was asked in the video examination. And uh, if you are learning this, the benefit is it is easy to get 6 marks. So definition will fetch you one mark and the electrochemical uh, theory reactions, there, there, there is an anode reaction, cathode reaction and formation of the rest. If you write this much, it is easy to get nearly uh, 6 marks students. Let's see the definition. The definition says corrosion is defined as the destruction of metal or alloy by the surrounding environment through chemical or electrochemical reactions. What is the meaning of this means metal and alloy both plays an equal role in bringing about a corrosion process. Mm -hmm. The nature of the metal as well as the medium in which the metal is placed, the medium in which the metal is placed both are equally important in bringing about the corrosion. If you consider a iron metal, so whether it is an acidic medium, basic medium, definitely it will go undergo corrosion to give a rust that is Fe2O3. So that means after the pH of say 11, easily it will undergo the corrosion. If the medium is highly alkaline, uh, say the pH is around 11 to 12 that means when a metal it is placed in uh, alkali that is sodium hydroxide it will not undergo corrosion at a faster rate. So metal and medium both will play a equal role. Similarly if I take a copper metal. Copper when it is placed in sodium hydroxide easily it will undergo corrosion uh, to form cubic hydroxide but it is not affected by the ammonia that means metal and the medium both play a equal role in bringing about the corrosion so this much if you remember writing the definition will be easier how to write the definition let's see the summary take a laser yeah so corrosion is defined as the destruction of the metal and alloy by the surrounding environment through chemical or electrochemical reactions. So one is a metal, the other one is a medium either by simply a chemical reaction or through electrochemical reaction the corrosion will take place. Electrochemical in the sense both anode and cathode reaction go hand in hand for the progress of the corrosion. So up to here one mark. Now the further we will see by taking iron as an example how to explain the electrochemical theory. To do so let us consider a metal. This is the iron metal and it is kept in a suitable corrosive medium. So when a metal it is in contact with a suitable corrosive medium it can form many number of tiny galvanic cells. Step 1. A metal, it is kept in a suitable corrosive medium, it forms a galvanic cell. Once a galvanic cell is formed, it indicates that anode and cathode reaction going to take place. So that means anode region and cathode region will be formed in a single entity, in a single metallic structure. If this area is acting as the anode, then at anode, metal oxidizes to release the two electrons and it becomes Fe2 plus no more it is Fe. What happens to these electrons? The electrons which are released at the anodic region directly enters into the cathodic media. So from here it will move in the direction of the cathodic region same as our galvanic cell. At the cathodic site the metal is already in the reduced state, further reduction is highly impossible, all the reactions that means the electrons released here 
will be taken up by a suitable reactive species present at the cathodic site. So nothing to do with our metal. All those reactions happening at the cathodes are because of the species, active species present at the region. Let's see that. Depending on uh, the region, you can have the two type of reactions here. One is called as liberation of hydrogen. The other one is absorption of oxygen. So here, how the hydrogen gas can liberate it at the cathode means the irrespective of the medium, whether it is acidic or neutral, definitely there will be the release of hydrogen. So if more and more hydrogen is liberating at this site means more metal gets destructed at the anodic region. That is the indication. If more hydrogen is getting released or liberated, means more and more metal getting destructed or damaged at the anodic region. Let's see that. So if the medium, cathodic medium is highly acidic, the electrons which are released at the anode will be taken up and hydrogen gas is produced. Similarly, if the medium is neutral, Electrons released at the cathodic site becomes equal to OH minus and there is again a release of hydrogen gas. This is called as liberation of hydrogen gas. Second type is absorption of oxygen. If the cathodic region is having sufficient amount of oxygen, then also uh, acidic medium, neutral medium, the reactions will occur. If the medium is highly acidic, so medium is having more amount of oxygen, the electrons are released from the anodic region taken up by these two to become a water molecule. Similarly, if it is neutral and electrons are released and more amount of oxygen, it will form the OH minus ion. The Fe2 plus in the previous one, let me show. The Fe2 plus ions formed at the anodic region and OH minus ions formed at the cathodic site both together will give you another product FeOH twice. This FeOH twice gets converted into either yellow rust or a black rust depending on the medium again. If it is, if it is like this FeOH twice plus half O2 plus H2O then it will give you the yellow rust. Here water is missing strings. Please take this water here. So it will give you the uh, yellow rust. That means moisture and oxygen both should be there. And there is no moisture, absence of the moisture, only insufficient amount of oxygen means it will give you a black rust. Yellow rust is nothing but a hematite and black rust is nothing but a magnetite. From this again the iron can be uh, extracted. This is the rust formation. So we say no the scrap iron. Scrap iron we won't throw. We will recycle it. That means the metal can be extracted from this once again. So metal undergoes two process. One is called as extraction. The other one is called as a, uh, a rusting. Extraction it is by force. Rusting by voluntarily it is taking place due to the environment. So that's about the electrochemical theory of corruption. Thank you students.